Hi guys and welcome to my channel, the story behind the picture, and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photo of Playboy Playmate Naraya Davis. Not only is it a fabulous photograph, but it also is a signature poster, so stay tuned. So when you approach a company such as a poster company, it's best to have at least a couple of ideas to give them, not just one, because if you give them one idea, they're just going to outright reject it. You give them a couple of ideas, they've got some choices, in which case they're going to probably go with one or the other. So what I did was I came up with two ideas, and the first idea was inspiration from a Bridget Bardot picture that I'd seen, a Bridget Bardot sitting on the floor with her legs crossed with some pantyhose on. I thought it was kind of an interesting shot. And then I was inspired by a kind of a movie star kind of thing, as you can see here in this red idea, um, something that was sort of guess orientated. That's because the hair, you know, is like the way it is. Well, those are my two ideas, the red and the white. Uh, now, the white one was pretty simple, a uh, white backdrop, sitting on the floor, pantyhose, topless, covering up, because obviously it's going to be sold and seen by the general public, so you can't have any nudity. And uh, the reason I had, uh, um, you know, more skin showing is because Noraya is a playmate and you want to do something that's a little more sexy, so that, uh, you know, people want to say, wow, you know, that's a pretty, pretty sexy shot there. And the second idea, as I had said before, was kind of inspired a little bit by the guess jeans thing, or let's say guess in general, with uh, the crazy kind of hair, you know, that's sort of untussled, and then red on red, as you can see in this picture here, is red on red, um, I thought was a great idea. So I set up the white and uh, lit that nice and evenly. Um, hair and makeup was done. Just put on the pantyhose, sat on the floor, took a couple of different shots, different angles, different ideas, and then eventually came up with this idea, which I thought was really great. Now, notice that I'm leaving a certain amount of space in certain areas, and this is for where the signature would go. Now, the second shot, all I did was I took some red satin, put it up in the background, hung it down, and um, sort of draped it as best as I could to give it sort of a, you know, a curtainy sort of kind of feel. And then Narai put on the red, and uh, stood in front of it. Now, the, the only thing I did with the lighting differently was I made the background lights get just a little less bright so that I could maintain a certain amount of redness out of the, out of the background. Didn't want to make it go too dark, but the, on the other hand, didn't want to blow it out. So that's what I did with the lighting. But uh, again, I'm using sort of glamour lighting, very, very, very much, you know, fill in. One's coming from above, another one's coming from below, and it's sort of even, even nice glamour soft lighting. And, uh, and as you can see, it, uh, it looks pretty glamorous. Now, I do think that the styling with the hair, makeup, and obviously having somebody that looks very attractive, uh, or should I say is photogenic, um, I had a, a winning sort of um, um, mix, if you like. But again, I came up with the two ideas so that uh, the company would make the choice between one or the other. And the one that got chosen for the signature poster was the original shot, the, the copy of the idea with the Bridget Bardot. So that's how I got uh, those two ideas put together. And uh, if you want to find out some more ideas or see some more of my work, you can pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com. I've got a blog there where you can read up on all kinds of things that I've been doing and look at some of my pictures. Uh, I also have some information on how I went about doing some of those things. Or you can download a PDF. In there, I have diagrams, which you can either copy or you can use bits of or some of the information to inspire you into your own ideas. There's also some great photographs in there too. Uh, so hopefully that's all inspirational. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram if you want to do that too and uh, check out uh, what I post up there. So pop over to my website, download a PDF. Uh, don't forget it's andrefelixphoto.com and uh, all I can say is please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you have, thank you very much and thanks a lot and bye for now. Oh and let's look at that poster again. Looks pretty good huh? And we got paid.